tonight we are going to be making a chicken fettuccine alfredo here in Casey's Kitchen. We just did a video on making homemade pasta, so go back and check that one out. And then you can use it in this recipe. So let's get started and let me show you how to make a homemade chicken fettuccine alfredo. Now if you've seen one of my previous videos, I had some chicken where I cooked a whole bunch in the Instapot and then I have separated them out over a few meals. This is one of those meals. So this is gonna be chicken alfredo. We're making our own alfredo sauce. We're using the chicken that's already pre-cooked and our homemade noodles. Now with an alfredo sauce, you can make it like a skinny alfredo sauce so you don't um, use like flowers or anything to make it thick. You just stick to your butter and your dairy products. Um, your butter, cream cheese, milk, sour cream, whatever kind of dairy product you wanna to put together. But it is mostly a butter, flour, milk kind of consistency, and then you flavor it however you want to. But I'm not gonna put any flour in this since we ha already have the flour in the eggs. I'm gonna stick to a more keto version, which is a half a stick of butter, about six to eight ounces of cream cheese, and then once that kind of melts down, then you'll put like either heavy whipping cream or milk in it. So let me show you how I do that real quick and it's usually different every time <laughs> but this is just gives you kind of an idea of how to make an alfredo sauce just the basic version and then you can add what you want to to it as you go and learn. Make sure you're watching the noodles back here. They've turned a pretty light creamy color. Okay the first step in our pan we are going to use a half a stick of unsalted butter this is sweet cream unsalted butter. You can turn your pan on medium, medium high. You don't want it too terribly hot. And then about a half a stick of butter because Alfredo sauce is mostly your butter and your cream. All right, we will let that melt. And we can go ahead and put in, I think I've got like about six ounces of cream cheese left from another recipe. So we are going to add that in as well. Just keep an eye on these two items so they don't burn. We want to warm it up low and slow. And then your liquid ingredients. I've got some heavy whipping cream and I've also got some milk that I'll be using to kind of whip this together. So let's sneak back here and try the noodles real quick. All right. They look really good and hearty and hefty. So let's take one out. I'm just going to put it on the stove here. I did have to turn these down because they were about to boil over. Let me get a fork. Alright, let's try them real quick. We're just checking for doneness. Yeah. They're good. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Mm, these are so much better since I added that salt earlier. I added more salt to the mixture and then I also added the the salt to the water as I was cooking them. Mm, it's so, good. so our butter and cream cheese is starting to melt. And I'm gonna use a whisk to help break the cream cheese up. So it can be melting as well as the butter. And we'll go ahead and salt and pepper it. Salt is out. So I'm gonna put about a, probably about a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Pink Himalayan salt. And if you use table salt, be careful. Don't overdo it because it has a really strong salt flavor. Pink Himalayan salt does not. And then I'm going to use about a third of a teaspoon of pepper. And in Alfredo, you usually have parsley. And that's what I'm going to use. Now this is our homegrown parsley. And you can flavor this however you like. 
you can make it more Italian and put like an Italian seasoning in here. Oregano, thyme, or a pre-made um, Italian seasoning bottle will be fine too. Cream cheese thing got stuck in here. Alright, these are getting good and melted. I'm going to go ahead and put in about, probably about a cup of heavy whipping cream because that's all that's in here. And then I'll finish it off with regular milk. Now to understand, whenever we make this, it's not going to get a whole lot thicker. So I'm doing about a cup of heavy whipping cream and probably a half to three-fourths of a cup of milk. And we will just let this come back to a slow simmer. And that is it for Alfredo sauce. It just needs to thicken up just a little bit. And uh, sometimes if it doesn't get much thicker than this right here and you want it, you know, more of a creamy sauce, um, you can put some mozzarella cheese in there and that'll help thicken that up some as well. So while this is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the noodles out so they can drain. I always like to run cold water behind my hot water stuff. And you can cool these down just a little bit too if you'd like. Just to kind of keep them to, they, this helps them to stop cooking as well as to keep them from sticking together. Because if they are still hot and stuck together, they will, um, they will continue to cook and they can actually fuse together, making your noodles get all stuck. All right, there we go, homemade noodles. Ta-da! Back to our sauce, it's starting to boil just a little bit, starting to simmer, and it's getting thicker. You see how thick it's done gotten from a while ago? It's getting a little bit thicker. So while our noodles are semi-cooling off and our sauce is thickening up, we need to go ahead and warm up the chicken since it's already cooked. Um, if you need to cook your chicken, you could have started that first. Sorry, I didn't tell you that, but you could have started that first in the Instapot, or if you're boiling it or baking it, however you cook your chicken breast, and, um, or you could, you know, use like an extra rotisserie chicken or anything like that. Um, so I did a, a big batch in the Instapot, and I'm going to use that, so I've got it in the microwave, it's warming up just a little bit, so all I've got to do is either cut it or shred it, and then everything will be ready to be thrown together. Alfredo sauce is done, so we are going to go ahead 
put our chicken that we have all chopped up here in with the Alfredo and let it be getting warm. Won't take but just a couple of minutes and then we will put our noodles in. Let it marry all together a few minutes and it will be done as well. Okay, let that heat back up. It's noodle time. We got all of this heated up. Take my whisk out as soon as I get this piece of chicken out of there. Set that to the side. And all we've got to do is toss in our noodles. And I'm going to go ahead and put all of this in here because we will probably have leftovers for tomorrow. Mix it up. Y'all need a close up. Oh my goodness. That is so yummy. Made from scratch. The pasta is homemade. The chicken we cooked. It was store bought though. We made our own Alfredo sauce. Mmm. Wonderful. You know what? You won't find this at Olive Garden. I tell you what. This is gonna be some good eating. Now, if you want to, you can put like a side of corn with this. Um, you can do like a Parmesan corn, which is really good. Um, we usually just stick to basic green beans because we have so many of them. So. Um, with this being the main dish and where all the flavor is, I'll usually just warm up some green beans with like some uh, minced onion, maybe some bacon, but that's optional since I already have chicken in here. I probably won't do the bacon. And just some salt and pepper and just warm it up a little bit. Drain all, I like to drain all the water off. Some people like to leave it in the water, however you like to warm yours back up. And then that is all we have. <laughs> they smelled it, so they're coming. And that's it. We just need to make plates and enjoy our supper. All right, guys. Here is the chicken fettuccine alfredo that we made with our homemade pasta noodles that you will see the other video for. And we also combined it with some canned green beans that we did a few weeks ago. We seasoned it with minced onion and garlic powder and salt and pepper. And, um, of course, then we've got the chicken fettuccine alfredo. I hope you guys go out and enjoy this recipe, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.